Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear respected brothers, I can't emphasize enough that the month of Ramadan is knocking and the month of Ramadan is about reconnecting to the Quran. So when we focus in heart see about rewiring, this is such a key to enable us to rewire. We have to first and foremost make sure we have a vertical connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is with the Quran and with Sajda or Salah, the second pillar of Al-Islam. But above all of this, which is the center peg, like a Bedouin tent, is the Kalima, La ilaha illallah. And we have to really understand and make sure that we understand what the Kalima means. And when we say and when we declare Shadu la ilaha illallah, means that we have witnessed and in Surah Al-Fatiha we also say so we have to sit back and question ourselves I am a Muslim am I really a Muslim has Iman entered my heart because we are surrounded now by the Dajjalic way of life and we are being conditioned and bombarded 24 hours 7 we're coming towards the end now but verily mankind is in loss except those that believe. My dear respected brothers and sisters, we have been hardwired, programmed for many, many years. It's been a gradual process and it's still continuing. The jigsaw puzzle of this Dajalic way of life is just about complete and then we have the event of the Dajjal if we have the event of the Dajjal in person then we have Imam Mahdi and we have Isa whether we are here at that time or not but we need to prepare as much as we can and so how do we prepare we have to go to the first part which I put in with heart C is about the rewiring we cannot jump to reconnecting, to rewilding, to redesigning, or even to re-establish until we've dealt with the rewiring. And this connects to the most important thing, which is Taskil nafs We can include that social permaculture. So many people, brothers and sisters, are talking about off-grid living, alhamdulillah, whether it's just with one person or a family, or with a group of you, a community, Unless you have your foundations established, the roots like the Kalima and the aims and objectives secure, it will fail. Because our sole intention of the off grid of the Hijra is to draw closer to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it means to rewire ourselves, rewire ourselves away from this Dajjalic system. How many of you out there could actually? Get up, sell up and just move away. Move away from your car, move away from the dunya, move away from the shops, move away from your social media, your iPad, your smartphone, your laptop. How many could do that? If we're talking about off-grid and following the hadith of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to retreat to the mountains and to the valleys. So there's different levels of off-grid living and we need to look at this as well. But, Look at the Prophet ﷺ, he also made Hijra. He went off-grid from Mecca to the Cave of Hira. So we don't have to go far to go off-grid. But what we do need to do is to break away, is to disconnect from this Dajjalic system in the best way that we can. We are surrounded by negativity. We have to put positive energy around us and within us. And this is the focus of Heart C. And the first R, which is rewiring. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.